with approximately 400 million active users and 15.4 billion transactions till date, there's a high chance that you've used or at least heard about PayPal. Founded in 1998 in California, United States, it is one of the oldest and biggest financial technology companies in the globe. Initially, PayPal started as an ingenious online payment portal, which was basically a secure and agreeable digital substitute of conventional mediums like money orders and checks. Whenever a payment is completed through PayPal for merchants, auction sites, etc., the company usually charges a fee for providing the online payment gateway. When the company was founded in 1998, it was named Confinity. The next year, the company's name was changed to X.com, and finally, in 2001, it was named PayPal. The fintech company went public in 2002 through their IPO, and later that year, the company was acquired by eBay as a fully owned subsidiary for 1.5 billion US dollars. Ultimately, in 2015, PayPal became an independent company again after it was sold off to the eBay shareholders. Today, PayPal is ranked 134th among the top 500 companies of the United States of America in terms of its revenue. A handful of PayPal co-founders and personnel were branded as the PayPal Mafia in the initial days. This tight-knit group of roughly 13 members went on to create some one of the largest and best companies in the future. From finance and investing, to fintech, media, networking, and auto, the PayPal Mafia pioneered some of the biggest global brands that we know today. But now the question arises, who are the PayPal Mafia, and what do they do? Let's find out! Welcome to Wealthy Mindset, where we explore unique and breathtaking angles from the world of money, economics, personal finance, and investing. But before we dive into it, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, click on the bell icon right there so you never miss any of our subsequent videos. The PayPal Mafia's members were mostly associates or acquaintances of PayPal co-founders Peter Thiel and Max Levchin. Instead of hiring professionals from outside, they chose to retain the finest specialists from their own circle. At the very beginning, when the PayPal workforce struggled to conform to eBay's relatively different policies, it culminated in the resignation of almost all employees, except the 12 of them. The overall age range of a member during the group's zenith was under 23. The majority had either gone to the University of Illinois or Stanford University with the founders itself. Nowadays, the majority of digital businesses, such as Tesla, YouTube, LinkedIn, and SpaceX, are either founded or invested in by former members of the PayPal Mafia. The Mafia became well known as a result of their numerous post-PayPal triumphs. In 2007, the Fortune magazine published an article headlined The PayPal Mafia, with an attached picture of some of the members, which made them even more popular. According to some sources, the Mafia's success has been attributed to the expertise, confidence, and cooperation cultivated at PayPal, which was reinforced by a common ideology among the members. They were supposed to be the highly intelligent workaholics who were good at math, according to the Forbes magazine. However, knowing about their principles and ideologies in general will be deemed incomplete unless we highlight some of the members individually. The founding member is Peter Thiel, the first CEO of PayPal. He initially made $55 million by selling the company to eBay, after which he invested in the startup of the most widely used social networking service, Facebook, becoming its first external investor by owning 10% of the firm. One of the most famous mafia is Elon Musk, a progressive entrepreneur who is renowned for establishing and leading multiple highly successful tech firms, including Tesla and SpaceX. In 1999, he became PayPal's top stakeholder after merging his X.com company with Teal. When PayPal was sold to eBay, Musk earned about $165 million. He is frequently pitted against Jeff Bezos for the title of world's wealthiest person. Max Levchin, another co-founder of PayPal, served as the company's initial CTO and was a key contributor to the company's anti-fraud system. He later designed the commercial applications for CAPTCHA, a security platform that performs challenge response tests to verify internet users. Later, Levchin successfully established tech firms such as Affirm and Slide after earning $34 million from PayPal's buyout. He subsequently sold Slide for approximately $180 million to Google. At PayPal, Steve Chen was the chief engineer. Following his resignation, he co-founded YouTube with Chad Hurley, PayPal's initial web developer and creator of the company's first logo, and Jawed Karim, one of PayPal's earliest engineers who worked on the company's anti-fraud measures. The site's first video, a short footage of Karim at a zoo, was itself posted by Karim. 
When Google bought YouTube, Chen got roughly 700,000 of Google shares, while Chad acquired 730,000 Google shares, and Kareem obtained 137,000 of its shares. But did you know that YouTube started out as a dating app? Check our latest recent video about the story of YouTube to discover more about the video dating website. The PayPal Mafia's next member is Jeremy Stoppelman, CEO of Yelp, and Premal Shah, president of a microfinance organization, Kiva. It also includes Reid Hoffman, the CEO of LinkedIn and a shareholder at Greylock Partners, Russell Simmons, the co-founder of Yelp, and many others. All the former employees formed a strong and enduring bond owing to a fiercely competitive environment and a collective attempt to keep the company afloat despite multiple failures. The PayPal Mafia is a contemporary instance of how entrepreneurship does not always have to entail starting a company from scratch. The strength of networking and having ties in the correct places can significantly accelerate the success. Certainly, they would not have been what they are today if they had not kept in contact with their old colleagues and co-workers. Conclusively, many of us have dreamed of establishing our own businesses and consulting firms. Everyone wants to achieve something extraordinary and unique in the finite lifespan they've got. And believe us, you're not alone in this. Who's your favorite member of the PayPal Mafia? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest business trends and interesting facts. You can also turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of our mind-blowing videos. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, bye!